Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So this is going to be a short video because I'm on the way to my next destination. So I'm going to leave Rome right now and I'm heading towards Naples uh, in a little uh, town. So in the next couple of hours I will be traveling again and that's why I have to kick in here this video on YouTube. And it's going to be a short one because I still have to check out and I have like one hour left or something. All right, so Bitcoin is still trading sideways. We are still waiting what is going to happen next because currently we are just trading around this $9,200 and there is not much to say currently. The thing is that we still are seeing some little uh, pumps in the altcoin market and as I told you, usually uh, this altcoin rally always is coming at the end of a rally on the traditional market and also on the Bitcoin. So I'm still a bit more bearish that we could see a potential uh, drop towards one of the important supports around the 200 daily moving average which is sitting currently of around $8,500. So I still think there is a high chance that we could see an initial pullback, maybe a bigger one that could take several weeks maybe also to recover. For the long term I'm still very bullish but I'm still more into bearish in the short term even though uh, we could start uh, to uh, push here to the upside and retest uh, possibly 10,000 or even higher in the next couple of days as well since we had the halving already and Bitcoin is clearly consolidating here and waiting for the next big move which in my opinion will also happen in maybe even uh, this week because we are coming here to a very end of this uh, wedge that we are in still and in case that we're gonna lose here this 9k area I think then this is gonna initiate the bigger pullback to the downside a correction or maybe even a trend reversal for the next couple of days and weeks but in case that we are able to break through this 9300 and also break through this big resistance that is coming down here from this falling wedge then I think we could see here a possible 10k retest coming up pretty soon so in the one hour you can clearly see that we are coming here to end of this um, uh, falling wedge resistance but also support from this bigger trend line. We will have a look at that also in the daily later on but currently here in the one hour it looks like that we're gonna retest here this $9,100 pretty soon. So watch out in case that we're gonna take out this low here at 9,090 then most likely we're gonna also drop towards 9k and there we're gonna have to see if we're gonna bounce from it or not because currently we are creating here these uh, higher lows which is bullish but of course also we are creating these lower highs so we're coming here pretty soon to an end and you see that the end of this wedge here is towards uh, the end of the week so I think that most likely towards the end of the week we're gonna have a clear sign where we're gonna head to next so if you're not in a trade yet maybe wait for the next move here and for the next breakout to enter here a long or a short over on Bybit or BTR depending where you're gonna trade. So we have now the stochastic oversold the RSI trading below the 50 in the RSI so I'm expecting here another pushes uh, to the downside towards $9,100. We also have all the moving averages above of us. In the one hour also we're coming down to the bottom of the Bollinger Band and also we had the bearish cross in the MACD so here we're gonna have to overshoot it to the downside or we're gonna see a bounce here to possibly also test 9240 again but all in all here in the next couple of hours I'm just expecting here some sideways moving and just in case that we are going to go lower than 9097 or higher than 9320 then I think this could initiate here a bigger move and although if we go over to the four hour time frame currently we're trading below all the moving averages and also here we're trading below the 50 in the RSI so also here I'm still a bit more bearish than bullish in the lower time frames because also here it looks like that we could have another 9k retest and in case that we're gonna l lose it then most likely we're gonna drop it towards the bottom where also the 200 daily moving average is lining up so somewhere here at around $8,500. Let's have a look at that later in the daily time frame. But here in the 4 hour also it looks like that um, most likely we're gonna have here a potential leg down here first and then we have to see if we are able to bounce from it or not because the this pattern here this falling wedge is actually a bullish pattern and this green support line could be the sign that here we're gonna have very strong support and we could break out here to the upside and in that case we will see this 10k retest 
pretty soon. And if we're able to break also 10k, then the next resistance point would be towards 11,000, where also the Bollinger Band in the weekly is at the top. I think it's in the weekly or daily. We're going to have a look on that later. Um, here in the 4-hour, you can also see the Bollinger Band, which is trading the lower areas. Also here, we still have some room left to the downside. MACD is flat, but had also here a bearish cross. And now if we go over to the daily, here you can see that currently we're trading right at the 20 daily moving average. The 50 is here at our resistance of around $9,400. And here, as I told you, the 200 daily is at $8,500, where I think we could be heading to in case that we're going to lose here this 9k area and here is where i probably going to open up a little long position and also start to buy in some cheaper bitcoins because even though we could go lower this is already a good entry and also i am expecting at least an initial bounce from the 200 daily moving average in case of a drop down to this level rsi is also starting to trade below the 50 stochastic is also shifted to the downside so there are a lot of signs currently that we could top out here and have a crash only if we're really able to break here this $9,300 and have this play out of this falling wedge here with the support here of 9k then most likely we're going to test here this uh, 10k and possibly also go higher and create higher highs which will be very very bullish and immediately the sentiment in the crypto market would change and here in the Bollinger Band you can see the top here is at $9,400 and currently we are trading right in the middle. So if we would lose here the middle area, watch out for this 9k retest. And now let's go over to the weekly. Because here you can see that the stochastic is still overbought but it's coming down here. So also here it's possible that we first have to cool off here completely before we're gonna see another big lag to the upside. RSI is above the 50 so that is still bullish and we are also still trading above the 20 weekly moving average which is currently at 8760 which is also very bullish. So this area down here is or should be a very strong support so watch out for this area down here in case of a drop below 9k because that could uh, be a possible retest of this support and from there we could see a big bounce to the upside because all in all this pattern is bullish and in theory we should break out here to the upside only if we would go and start to trade lower than that so lower than 8500 then i think we most likely also gonna retest this area down here at 7000 $200. And now if you have a look here on the weekly time frame, you can see that we're still trading on the bullish side and also even if we drop towards $8,200, we would still remain here in the upper area. We have the MACD also still shifted to the upside. Could have a bearish cross in case that we start to trade sideways here or drop towards the support here of $8,200. And here you can see the worst case in case that we're going to lose here this area. We could go in theory even down here towards $5,500. I don't think that we will go that low, but of course it's possible, especially if also in the traditional markets like in the S&P 500, we're going to see such a big drop. Then most likely also on Bitcoin, we're going to see here a big lag to the downside and this could be a possible target, even though I think here towards 7200 to 6400 we will have a lot of uh, support and buy orders in that area and here in the bollinger band you can see that the top is at around 11000 so that's why i think there is still a high chance that we could break out from this falling wedge to the upside and also retest this 11000 dollar so the best thing to do right now guys is just really wait for a possible breakout here to the upside or downside before entering a trade but the next move is gonna be definitely a big move i am expecting one to two thousand dollar move coming up in the next couple of days because we are here in a consolidation area and now we're just waiting here for the next move and also watch out for the volume in case of a breakout because of course we need a lot of volume here to have the confirmation that that breakout is also valid and just a side note uh, yesterday i closed my um, a short position over on Chainlink. Uh, actually my stop loss got hit so i went out in profits and uh, luckily because uh, the price went up immediately towards eight dollar thirty so Chainlink currently is also in consolidation right now and waiting for the next move and that's why i think everything is going to depend right now from Bitcoin because if Bitcoin is going to start to pump or dump then the altcoins most likely will follow as well 
and Chainlink, as I told you, is a coin that I'm watching currently to buy in. So my short right now got executed. I'm out of the trade and currently also you can see that we are creating lower highs and most likely also here we're going to create higher lows before we're going to see a decisive move of uh, Bitcoin where we're going to head to next. Because Chainlink is one of the only coins which today are in plus. So the other coins currently are tanking a bit. But as I told you, it's just a matter of time till Bitcoin is going to break out here and then we're going to see also follow through in the other coins there are some like also here b chain for example that is still pumping so those coins are some of the coins that i still want to have in my portfolio for the next big bull run hopefully we're going to have a little correction a little pull back down so we can buy one last time some cheaper coins in and don't have to fomo in after such a big pump already of course, in the altcoins, we still have a lot of room left to the upside. So even buying at those prices here, I think it's still cheap comparing to uh, the all-time highs that those coins had. But I always recommend to buy in once we're going to have blood on the streets. So once everything is tanking, then it's good to buy in and not after such a move like we had here in some altcoins and also in Bitcoin. Even though we are in a consolidation area and from here on, we could start the next big leg to the upside. That for sure it's in the cards and that's why you should be ready for all scenarios even if we start to moon from here but of course if we're gonna tank from here make sure that you're also ready to buy in some cheaper coins as well and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget to sign up to our ten dollar worth of bitcoin giveaway that is gonna come at the end of the week we're gonna then select the winner of this week's giveaway and at the end of this video is popping up a video on the top where it says subscription video there you have to put your comment your bitcoin address at the end of the week i'm gonna select the winner of our ten dollar worth of bitcoin weekly giveaway sponsored from and by bit yard all right guys so thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel leave a like and also you find all the links down below here if you need the bybit femex bit yard account with my sign up links you can get some bony as well so if you're interested in trading up to 100x all these coins that you see here then make sure to use the links that you find down below here in the video description follow me also on twitch and uh, there is also the link for our free discord trading chat everyone is welcome and uh, it's free to use down below Below here thank you very much my friends and we see us all in the next one when i will be in naples bye